Hare Krishna. Intelligence is the last defense against indulgence and also the first. Intelligence is what protects us from our lower desires which drag us towards indulgence. So in the sequence described in the Bhagavad Gita in 2.62 and 63, Krishna says, Dhyayato Vishayan Bhumsaha Sangaste Shupajayate Sangat Sanjayate Kamaha Kamat Krodho Bijayate Krodhat Bhavati Sammoha Sammohat Smuti Vibrama Smuti Brahmashat Buddhinasho Buddhinashat Pranashyati So in 2.63 he says that when our intelligence falls, then we fall. So we may contemplate, then we may get captivated and then we may get angered at anybody opposing us. So like that, the whole sequence goes on. But at one particular point, intelligence is what falls. When our intelligence is overpowered by the desire, is knocked aside by the desire, then we are left with no guard, we fall. So we can say that if there is a fort that is to be protected, the fort of our consciousness is to be protected, so we as a soul are here and the last guard, like a, a, a king might have multiple levels of security. The last security is the intelligence. Once the intelligence falls, we fall. At the same time, intelligence works at multiple levels. So intelligence is also the first guard. That means rather than thinking of our intelligence as one unit, intelligence has many units. So intelligence is the first defense means that if we are alert and if we keep ourselves spiritually focused, then we using our intelligence can avoid contemplating on the temptation itself. I mean, that means we don't let the temptation penetrate into the fold of our consciousness at all. And Krishna recommends this in the third chapter of the Bhagavad Gita when he says, Evam buddhe param buddhva samsthabhyatmanam atmana jahishatrum mahabaho kamarupam durasadam So he says, with the intelligence, fix the mind on Krishna. And uh, he says, fix it on spiritual reality. And if you fix it on spiritual reality, then we can win temptation, win over the battle, win the battle against temptation. Why? Because temptation won't be allowed to enter our consciousness itself. And that's how we can be protected. And this intelligence is actually <clears throat> the gift of devotion. So with whatever little devotion we have, we practice bhakti, we try to fix the mind in Krishna, and with that mind fixed on Krishna, we'll be able to resist temptation because we will not get distracted from Krishna. Krishna is so relational, why do I need anything else? So, uh, in that sense, uh, we need intelligence not just to not think about temptation, but we need intelligence to focus on Krishna. And that is the first defense means that we don't allow temptation to come in itself. Now, if temptation comes in, the urge towards intelligence starts growing, growing, growing. So then the initial failure of intelligence is where a, say, a spy comes into a high security area or a, a terrorist comes into the high security area. But a total failure of the intelligence is when the, when the terrorist comes in and kills the head of the state. So like that our intelligence is meant to first of all prevent the penetration of the of worldly desires into the high security area of our consciousness. And if you can do that, then that is the best. And later on in the 18th chapter, Krishna talks about these two aspects, Shama and Dhamma, as the characteristics of the Brahmana. Shama Dhamastapa Shaucham, Shantirarjama Mevacham, Jnanam Vijjanam Astikyam, Brahma Karma Sabhavacham. Actually, when we, if we are intelligence is very sharp, we'll control the mind. That means we'll not let the mind focus on uh, temptation itself. But if at all mind focuses and we start getting agitated, but dhamma, then we won't let ourselves indulge sensually. We won't fall down physically. So in that way, to protect us from, first of all, mental lapse itself, intelligence is the first defense. And to protect us from physical lapse also, intelligence is the last defense. And it is this intelligence that is nourished 
by regular study of the Bhagavad Gita and by the purificatory practices of Bhakti Yoga. Thank you. Hare Krishna.